I kind of wanted to pick that up anyway. But yeah, the money drops sometimes do that, so it, it is what it is. And as much as I love that game, I just, I, 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 I love, I even like fighting in the last mission. It's just really frustrating. Wow, that was loud in my ears. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was really loud. That was also very loud. Good lord. Okay, let's turn this down. It's still loud. Oh my gosh. Oh, why'd you hate it? I love it. This is one of my favorite games. Oh, okay. Well, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, this game, when it first came out, um, I fell in love with it immediately. It's it's by far one of my favorite games to play. Um, but yeah, you are right. The controls were, were pretty clunky. However, they did get better. Oh, that's better. Okay, so now my eardrums aren't bleeding from the, uh, the audio. But I could probably turn this up just a smidge. That's better. Uh, but yeah, they can be. But... If you spend as much time as I do playing this game, you eventually get relatively good at it, especially if you've got an Xbox controller. <laughs> but I am playing on Survival, which uh, was added for the PC remaster, which, by the way, I would recommend it. They did clean up a lot of the stuff that didn't work right, although the rendering is still sometimes a little bit wonky. And they uh, added new features like they turned off auto aim. If you well, like, like this, surrendering sometimes is. Um, also, um, as someone who grew up around these kinds of weapons, like the Tommy gun, uh, I've never seen a side bolt operated Tommy gun. Okay, so Bioshock Two was the. I can't use the R word, so the uh, silly little brother of this one. And this one was fantastic. Uh, start hacking away. Uh, but essentially, the idea of the first one is, is do you actually have free will? And that's kind of the main point of the game. And you can apply it to anything else. Is what do you, th who do you think you are, and do you actually have control over your life? And oh crud, I can't. This is an unwinnable scenario, so I'll just take the hit. Uh, actually, I've got two other ones on my YouTube channel where I, we kind of talk at length about this as I was playing through it. So each of the areas has usually some kind of vice or, or something about it. This one is, um, what's it called? It's, um, oh, what's it called? It's um, not indulgence. It's overindulgence, but it's beyond that. It's not even gluttony. It's, it's, um, Self-delusion is one of them, but it's another thing as well. It's um, I can even picture the, the picture of the Greek god that that portrays him. He's always eating grapes. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it, it's a bit, but um, you know. So even the whole point of the game, when you first start, um, you know, you 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 receive a letter from your parents, quote unquote asking you jack to um to to come back home and uh or is it hijack the plane i, I can't remember and his trigger word is well, actually i'm not i'm not going to do it i'm not going to say it because if you've not seen it i don't want to ruin it i'm not going to ruin it we'll, we'll we'll get there when we get there also, I always I loved the idea of just looking out the window and just seeing the buildings underwater. Oh my god, I loved it! I loved it. I, I really want to see this game completely remade. Oh come on, man, do it! It's 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 probably dirt cheap on Steam or something. It's it's definitely worth a buy. Already went through this place. 
uh, if you've not played this game, I would strongly recommend playing it. It, it, you are correct. The, the the controls are a bit clunky, uh, but they fixed that in the second one. If they had had the controls for the second one for the first one, I would call this game a complete, completely perfect masterpiece. Ooh, diary. I always liked Sander Cohen, but not as much as I liked uh, Steinman. I liked Steinman the best. Steinman is somebody who just completely fell in love with himself. I, I just, he's a great character. Why is life getting too scary? I mean, like... So, like, I mean, we will, I discussed it earlier as well, but even in this game, like, why... Why do all the splicers cover their face, or at least the majority of them do? And they use symbols that, I, if I'm not mistaken, are all pagan in some way. So like birds, rabbits, like something that, that portrays something else. Now, granted, the, uh, the context is that it happened on New Year's, and so you're having a New Year's masquerade. Okay, fine. Uh, but a lot of them are using, like, uh, bird masks... Uh, rabbits, and then I think there's something else. Um, but it's it's very interesting to hear. Oh. Oh, that's right. I have to find him. Oh. I don't have that. Okay, so I need to get one of those. But yeah, if you actually look at what the game is is talking about, it is kind of creepy, um, just on a higher level. Is that we mask ourselves at certain times when we feel like we've done something wrong. Kind of like, you know, the whole uh, original sin concept. No, play, play the... there it is. I'm not sure he would know who the Iceman is just yet. No, they don't. Uh, the main uh, is it Ken? Yeah, Ken Levine, who is the director for this game. He did not do Bioshock Two, but he did do Bioshock Three. Oh, sorry. Let me let this guy happen. Hedonism. That's the one I was thinking of. Hedonism. This is all hedonistic. At least for this section is all hedonism. Although you could you could also argue that the others are hedonistic as well. Um, I will agree with it. That they don't make these games anymore. Even though the uh, the main director and uh, lead developer was the same for Bioshock One and Three. Three was absolutely god awful. I I ha it took me forever and a day to get through Bioshock Three. I hated it. Bioshock 2, despite its imperfections, I could at least stomach it. Um, I, I, at least it was in Rapture. It was within the same vein of everything else that was going on, so it worked. Oops, let me get, make sure I get a picture of you. Um, I didn't like where they took the game. Um, I think that, that it was essentially just the reverse of what we already had. Oh, and cats. I forgot they, they did cats too, the masks. Uh, I already know where you are, you little bastard. You're right there. And you're dead. <laughs> I, maybe, um, 
I would argue that's probably more true than not, although I, I, I think that I have played a few games that did have sequels that that were actually pretty good, but I, could, I couldn't name them off the top of my head right now. Uh, but yeah, I would, I would say that the majority of the time, if, if a sequel is, uh, is not planned, they're garbage. I think Bioshock was not planned with a sequel in mind, but there's enough going on here where sequels shouldn't be hard. I would love to see Rapture uh, pre, I guess, fall. So maybe having... Oh, uh-oh. Oh, I already done the research there. Okay, so that's fine. Oh. Where are they? Oh, I also love... I love that. Oh, my gosh. I love that view. I think they could do sequels for, for Bioshock because there's just so much here to play with. But I would love to see be in uh, Bioshock, or I'm sorry, in Rapture before everything fell to hell. Yeah, give me that. Give me that wrench jockey. Oh, I'm out of ammo. But yeah, Bioshock 3 uh, was just, I mean, I cannot, I cannot verbalize my disdain for that game. I, it was awful, it was not, I mean, I, a chore is more entertaining than Bioshock 3. Uh oh. Oh, I also turned off any uh, auto aiming, so there's 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 no assistance for any any kind of firearms or melee. Just an FYI. I need to buy more ammo for my. I, the The biggest problem with it was not only was the story stupid, um, and the story was very stupid. Um, it was the just. Like, nothing you did mattered in the game. Like, that's the whole point of Bioshock, is is if you want to get down to it, the, the core of this game was, do your choices matter? And in, in Bioshock 3, they tried to bring that back, but at the very beginning, they essentially told you, your choices don't matter. Because no matter what you choose, the outcome is exactly the same. And you could also argue that that was the point, but I would say that is a terrible point to make in a game where your choices are supposed to make a difference. That and the fact that Elizabeth had this OP power that was horribly explained and horribly implemented. Oh, hello. <laughs> Why? I remember feeling. I remember having like fights with everybody that loved that game, because I I played it and I was like maybe I'm not giving it a chance. Maybe I'm not following like why people like it. But I played it. Um, I don't think there was a meta. Oh, it was a bird in a cage. Bird in a cage. Um, but no matter what, you could only choose one: the bird or the cage. But either way, both are useless without the other, or something silly like that and how perception is essentially what what you make reality like it, it, it but the thing is they didn't really stick with a message it it just kept flipping around that was one of the bigger problems oh crap that was one of the bigger problems i had with it as well I used to think you were a genius because you paid my rent. Yes, uh... But, uh, like, even if you mapped out the story, which is my, one of my bigger complaints, um, it didn't make sense. Uh... The, the actions that you take in that game do not make sense. I want to say... Is it these that are... These are also creepy. Like, they're Plaster Paris, I think. But there's bags over their head. 
It's weird. Like, they were suffocated first, I guess. No, the, well, in, in the third one, um, the world is just, I mean, it's hard to say. It's just one of many dimensions, essentially, that make up, I guess, Rapture. But essentially, they all lead back to a quote-unquote lighthouse. Um, and the lighthouse is a representation, I guess, of hope. Uh, which is weird because that is traditionally what it is in media, but not not in this game. Like the lighthouse is essentially a, a was a siren song that you don't want to be involved with. Uh, but no, he he is essentially torn between two realities and two dimensions. So Comstock in Bioshock, whoa, in Bioshock uh, Three is Booker Dewitt. And Booker DeWitt is the character that you play. It's just that different decisions lead you to two separate realities. And for you, what was it there was the battle of um, is it Custer's Last Stand? I think is where you're supposed to be. And Custer's Last Stand, of course, you commit some really horrible acts, and so you have a come to Jesus moment. And in that moment, uh, that's where your timeline splits. One of them stays Booker. The other one abandons. Uh, Booker and becomes Comstock, which okay, fine, that's cool. Um, but like, I think is it Booker eventually has children, Comstock does not, so he kidnaps Booker's uh child in another dimension, which is where the twins come from, like the the twins that we see all the time. Oh, this is I like this. off but I can't oh do we lose the other guy oh that's sad uh, but no the, the, the worlds exist um, they just exist separate from and at the same time united with one another which is really stupid Oh, I also like this song, too. Do, 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 boom. Yeah, you very much, um, this very much exists. Look at the fishies. But uh, in Bioshock 3, the world doesn't make any sense because the actions that you take, oh, in order to, to make the story work, also destroy the story. Uh, so, like, I think at one point you actually tear open a portal in time to go get, like, explosives from some guy who died in your timeline. The problem with that is that once you've done that, it should affect your timeline, and it doesn't. So it it you know that's why like in Terminator whenever he's they send somebody back, you know whatever they do does affect the 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 well the quote unquote present. That's why killing you know John Connor would work. Now the alternative is that of course the Terminator was sent back and failed because John Connor would not need to be killed if he was killed originally. Does that make sense? Like it's a never it's it's a weird cycle. A lot. It. It's the same. They never answer some of those questions. They're like, oh, we, we kind of wrote ourselves into a corner, so time travel. This is just awful. This is just absolutely, utterly awful. And this one is definitely not in your subconscious. This one most certainly is uh, just you happen to be on, oh, so you happen to be on a plane. You are, quote unquote, just happen to be on a plane. Oh, someone sounds angry. And uh, you are destined to come back here. But I'm not going to ruin it if you've never played the game. That would not be fair. But now this world very much exists for the character. In Bioshock 2, you go back as... 
<laughs> uh, I think they made it to ask questions and because when you when you look at what the developers were doing, what their original goal was was not what the end product was. There was lots of happy accidents that happened. So, like the the bounce or the, the bouncing betties. That's like not even in this genre. The big daddies uh, were kind of like your Frankenstein monsters, but they they didn't even know what they were going to do with them. So they invented the whole idea of Adam and uh, plasmids in order to facilitate what the big daddy was going to be used for the thing they were asking was actually and this is really the like I, I i liked is that it's an ongoing question is do, do we have free will um and you could always make the argument that you don't because you are guided by uh, either impulses in your brain or chemicals or you can make the argument that everything is predetermined. You could make the argument that you do have free will, even though there you know, might be something greater than yourself in the universe, because they, they bring that up in the game as well, just not directly. Um, if you actually just listen to what the, the NPCs are saying whenever you're just walking around, um, you can hear them, and they're all lamenting their state of being, and they're all begging for forgiveness. Uh, it's actually one of my favorite parts of the game. <laughs> well, sometimes that's all you can do. Uh, let's see, shotgun rate of fire. I already done the damage. Let's do, yeah, let's just finish the shotgun out. Besides, getting up and close and personal is always nice. Oh, friends. We have friends. But uh, if you, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna stand still for a second. Nope, nope. It's not working. Where's my active camouflage? Oh yeah, they must have fixed the active camouflage. Are fixed. They must have broken the active camouflage. So back in the day, the active camouflage, like what what I just did, where I just stood still and you saw that, that's actually um, I'm now invisible, so you can't see me. But one of the things I used to do in in when the game first came out is I would just hang out near where embassies would just uh, just come and walk by and just listen and they had a lot of really cool stuff that the uh, N the NPCs would go through so they would uh, beg for forgiveness from God they would uh, uh, they would sing uh, Jesus loves me this I know you know for the Bible tells me so yada 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 oh whoa, whoa, whoa. why 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 am, why am I getting shot at I got this this uh turret was mine. I already bought that out, didn't I? Uh, and then they um, they constantly talk about how they're not worthy to, to be seen by like the face of God. Uh, lots of things like that, which I thought were really cool um, because that explains why they're hiding their face. They're ashamed of themselves for what they did. Um, let's go ahead and do it. So they, they actually bring in lots of elements that I'm sure today would be considered um, just absolute suicide on a market level, which I think that, no, people want to actually have these questions asked. They want to discuss these things. They just don't want to discuss them in a, well, this is obviously the answer. And it's like, no, we don't necessarily know the answer to all these things. You know, we don't know if, you know, life is predetermined or if we do have free will. But the point of... You know, maybe the point is to ask the question, not to just simply ignore it. Or to say, oh, well, obviously the answer is this. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. But don't make the decision for me. And uh, that's one of the things I like about this, this game, is they discuss... I have played Dishonored, um, but it's been so long, and I, I won't lie. Bioshock 3 and Dishonored did one thing to me that really kind of jacked with my head. Um, all the really sharp movements, like the, the, the what do you want to call it, like the, the flying around, it kind of gave me headaches. So I, it was very difficult for me to uh, actually finish the game. I... I I, I would have to, you know what, how about this? Um, if you want to, what I'll do is I, I kind of just wing what I'm going to play next, but I'll, I'll reinstall Dishonored 1 and, and we'll go through it together. How about that? That sound like fun?
Because <laughs> it's been too long now. Yeah, I, I remember like skulking around a lot and having that uh, th those weird powers that you get after somebody kills you. I remember you're stabbed in the back by somebody. I just don't remember who or why. I think I got to uh, the part where I was in a siege uh, at like your little bar. Yeah, let's do it, man. After 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 this, um, we'll I'll I'll throw on Dishonored and we'll we'll run through that. I am missing the last person on this list. Oh my god, I love it. I just I I want to see Bioshock One updated, redone, re just just reskinned, and be able to look at it Rapture and just keep exploring. That's 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 what I would want. That's what I want. <laughs> oh hello. I'm missing two. I've got the fire guy, the ice guy. Who am I missing? Where are they? <laughs> no, man. I, 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 as I said, I, I stream for fun, man. I don't stream to, like, if, you know, if it goes somewhere, that's great. But I stream to have fun. So if somebody that wants to watch wants me to play Dishonored, yeah, sure, man. Let's do it. I'm not going to tell them, though. Hell, maybe I'll have more fun with it. Because I remember the first time I played it, I was like, uh, I don't know about this game. This game's a little bit weird, even though it's made by the same guys. What the? How did you get behind me? I, I heard you. There you go. See? But yeah, if you notice... Oh, they're ba it's bandaged. Oh, man, I got them right in the teeth. Look at that. I love the freaking crossbow gun. Or the disc, just crossbow. I remember where I'm supposed to go now. I remember now. But first. Now, one of the things that I, I, I would criticize is, even though they have... I love the aesthetic of Bioshock. But they need to kind of play more on the the vices that that made this place what it was. So, um, gotcha. Ah, wait, where are you shooting at me? So um, I think I, I haven't played it yet, but I plan to play it this October, um, which was uh, Soma. Soma is a very deep game, but it's a horror game, and, and I don't do well with horror, and I'm going to cry like a little bee, and I'm going to scream. I'm going to have lots of uncomfortable moments when I play Soma. Uh, so if you want to hang around for that, that's this October. <laughs> Yeah. But uh, I don't either. Um, I, I although um, I do like Dead Space. Dead Space is the exception. I I really like Dead Space's lore, even though they completely just abandon it um, in Bioshock or no, sorry, but Bioshock in Dead Space Two. They just completely undo what they. They uh, they make, but uh, I I saw it I I didn't pay much attention to it when I first saw it, but um, I heard somebody that that I actually do think does a really good job with 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 recommendations, because I know some people a lot of my friends just recommended the crappiest things to me, but one of them goes try Soma, and I said what is what is Soma? And it's they said it's a horror game, but it's got a really deep story, and I said okay, you sold me, so I'm gonna try it. But back to what I was saying. Uh, the one thing they didn't do a very good job of is is uh, accentuating the vices of the people in Rapture. We we get to see parts of it, but we don't get to really see it, you know. Um. Oh, there you go. There's the masks. But we can see like their faces are all scarred up and whatnot, and so they hide their faces because they don't feel worthy to be seen. They're ashamed of all the, the horrible things that they've done. I 
Um, Dead Space was definitely terrifying. Um, I think the first time I played it, I played it on normal or easy, which is very, very out of the ordinary for me. I'm going to run out of ammo eventually. Um, because they, they need to. Um, they are essentially driven to do so. Because every person in Rapture has Adam on them. And Adam is essentially what makes this entire city run now. And killing me means that I might have some Adam on me. Maybe not. Maybe it does, though. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, funny story. Um, Ken Levine, who is the... Oh, you know, this is actually a moment of uh, story time, because I remember the music playing in the background. Sad music. You have that creepy string. That's it. Nope. Oh, Alright, I'll hack it. But there's, there's lots of reasons why they're attacking me, and I don't want to... If you've never played this, I definitely don't want to spoil it, and I highly recommend you go and watch uh, my previous streams on YouTube. Because I swear, I put all my streams up on YouTube. I know that's kind of vain, like, hey, go watch other stuff. But, but I actually go talking through certain pieces, um, and I don't think I spoil anything. If I do, I'm so very, very sorry. This game is definitely worth the play. And I love the level of depth they put into it. I don't know if they ever meant it to be as deep as they did, but they definitely made it very, very deep. Like, you'll just hear nothing but unending praise from me about this game. One second, I'll read that in just a moment. I just will not be this if I don't. Or if I do. Oh, crap. No, man, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. Okay, let's uh, let, let's let's play with this a little bit. I'm sorry, dude. I did not know that. Uh, da, 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 da. Jeez, man, I wish you'd have told me that. Okay, uh, how about now? I'll just I'll just swing my wrench here. I mean, I have it turned down pretty low here too, so you should hear like a little buzzing noise right now, because I got this guy hanging around me. You should hear like a whale thing in the background right now. Do you hear, do you hear that? Oh god dang it! Okay, so let's let's uh, I tried to just turn up the uh, the audio for the speaker, so maybe it's not that. Maybe it's it's oh, you know what it might be since I've got a headset on. Maybe it's because I've got stuff turned down so far. How about now? How about now? This should be got you should be here and walk or footsteps. Oh man, I didn't know that. Otherwise, I, I, God darn it, that annoys the crap out of me. Yeah, so I, I, I was using just regular OBS Studio to stream from, but um, I, something happened with the settings, and it wasn't giving any video. Ah, no, 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 no. No! I missed! Twice! <laughs> Get a 
bolt. Okay, so then let me turn this up again. I just don't want it to overpower and be just deafening. Um, I remember very early on. How about now? Can you, this should, you should be hearing music. And lots of stuff. Ooh, how much is that doggy in the window? Someone with the waggly tail. Yeah, just, just let me know if it's any better now, because all I did was just... Okay, cool. Uh, we'll keep it here, then. Um, I, I, I did keep it very low to begin with, uh, because the first time I tried it, I was told uh, it's way too loud, nobody can hear me. So I said, well, that's not good. Uh, I mean, you got to hear my beautiful, buttery voice. I mean, that's just half the reason you want to watch, right? <laughs> um, so that, that's why I, I kept it so low. But uh, I'll try to, I don't want you to not hear anything. However, th th this is just a smidge too loud for what I got going on. So I'm going to drop that just down by one. There we go. It's not a lot, but it's, it's something to make it a little bit more bearable for me. Oh, crap. There's two turrets. Son of a biscuit. I'm not ready to go down there yet. I don't have... Well, I probably could have done it, but... I don't want to do it right now. <laughs> Look, man, it's okay if it is. <laughs> I actually, uh, in my college days, there was a dude who, uh, who literally said, I'm not gay, but uh, do you want to go out? <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> And he tried. He that man. He was like in his mid forties, and he's like, "Look, man, I've been married. I think that you're really cool, and I'm I'm more to like know if you want to go out with me." And I was like, "What?" <laughs> I was like, "I look, I, I I appreciate it. I don't I don't know what to do with here because I was like I was like seven. No, I was like maybe nineteen years old. I had no idea what to do with that. But I was like, "No, nah, I'm, I'm good, man. I appreciate it though." And he's like, "No, man, it's cool, man. No, it's not nothing gay or anything." And I was like. What? I mean, you just you just said you're what? <laughs> like I'm so confused. Oh crap! Oh snap! Run! Oh crap! No! 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 no. Okay, and there's gotta be a, a a button around here somewhere. Son of a basket. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm going to die here. I'm about to die. <laughs> no, I don't think I would have been rich. I would have just been uh, sore. <laughs> I thought there was a freaking machine or a button around here somewhere. Gosh, darn it. Take the first aid kit. I'll take that. You, you little bastard. Fine, you gotta go. <sighs> but uh, it was funny because the guy was, was like, look, I'm not gay. I've never been gay, but I really like you and I want to go out with you. And I was like, I What? <laughs> I don't know what to do with this, but no. So another big problem with Bioshock 2, actually, is that the cameras, the gun turrets, are really only meant to deter you, not the enemy, which is kind of stupid. Oh, oh, let's see. Oh, crap. I, he, I need to hit him with this. I burned through most of my money. I have no health parts. I, you know, um, he... Li I'm sorry, that was kind of loud. I apologize about that. He tried to go out with me... Uh, what? We were in two classes together. 
and he, don't get me wrong, he's a nice guy. I'm, 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 no, he's, he's a cool dude, but uh, he just wouldn't give up. And I, I'm like, look, man, if I was a chick, your your uh, your your uh, what's the word? Your tenacity would be, uh, you know, plaudible. But uh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not interested. And I'm not. It's not going to change my mind, no matter how 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 hard you push there. And uh, oh god, that was loud. Oh, hello. Yeah, right there. Jeez, she's right in front of my face. I didn't even see her. He might. I don't know. He's a pretty jack dude. I mean. The guy was definitely not, uh, he, was, he was easy to look at, let's put it that way. He was a, he was a pretty good looking dude, but uh, just don't go that way. So another fun thing is that that guy yeah, right there, his voice, uh, that's Ken Levine uh, in his kind of jokey trolley voice. And he, he did that, but he his wife hated it so much that he had to put it in the game. If I remember correctly, his wife hated him doing that voice so much. He said, "Perfect." Hello. What the? Thought I. Oh, oh, snap! No, don't do that. Don't, don't be picking fights. But he texted me even years after. Um, even years after uh, 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 we were out of college, he would not give up. He just would not let anything go. Uh, even after he knew I was dating somebody, he was like, that's cool, man. Come on, it's fine. It's not a big deal. And I was like, no. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, time to run. Don't Don't deal with those people. I hear a little sister, but I don't see a little sister. All right, let's get back to the story. So let's get back to this. Uh, actually, I need ammo, which before I can have ammo, I need money. Uh, this is, that's, I don't want to go in there just yet. That's, that's, uh, it's not bad news, but I don't want to go in there until I'm fully ready. not ready to do my wrench build yet. So the wrench build for this game is... is <laughs> I'm glad to say that back then I didn't have many problems to listen to, so that didn't work for me. Listening to my problems was, oh, I, I, don't, I can't spend all my time playing video games. Because <laughs> back then, I, even with uh, school, I, I, I was usually flush with cash. I didn't have a problem finding women, at least you know, most of the time. So, oh, there she is. There's a little sister. Oh, so this will be fun. So, one of the side effects of uh, Adam and your body is that uh, it allows you to live other people's memories. Oh, ow! So, um, Adam is basically something that, that attaches to your genetics, and for some reason, which I'm not quite sure of, it allows you to live other people's memories if they're like, not traumatic, but like if they're powerful enough. So, in this case, we're we're seeing a ghost, if you will, from somebody else's memories, and they, you know, she's walked down this hallway.
one second. When I first played this, I, did, I didn't put two to two and two together because I was still pretty young. But then when I played it again more when I was older, I was like, "Jeez, jeez, this gets darker and darker as I go through it." Um, I studied uh, information systems management, so I, I did a lot of programming, databasing, and things like that. Really, really sexy stuff. Oh, crap. <clears throat> Sometimes. Don't get me wrong. Just because I, I studied something smart doesn't make me smart. <laughs> Put it this way, I'm smart enough to know there's a lot smarter guys out there than I'm than me. Um, I, I will say though that the majority of the time that whenever somebody didn't know something in my my classes, they usually came to me. Um, as a matter of fact, one of the guys uh, that I, I haven't talked to in years reached out to me the other day and was like, "Hey, you're smart. <laughs> you you did this. You wanna you wanna come work for me and my boss?" And I was like, "I don't know, maybe. <laughs> what are we doing?" <laughs> Ow. Did I not? Yeah, I got it. That's what I got. Oh, no, no, no. Be, yeah, I, I like to analyze. Um, and if I was doing this in the middle of the day, uh, when I'm fully awake and not kind of tired from working all day, uh, I'd probably be able to do it even better. But because I'm not, and it's the end of my day, and it's I'm not taking this too seriously, I'm, I'm bouncing all over the place. I'm not keeping to a point. I'm just kind of having fun, having a conversation. God, just die already. All right, I'm going to need to hit you with something else. But yeah, I haven't, I haven't explained too much yet, because if you've never played this, I do not want to ruin it for you, because if you want to watch me play it and finish it, which actually I'm, I'm about maybe halfway through the game, um, which we hasn't spoiled anything just yet. Like we, 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 we've established who our main characters are. I'll say main characters. We've established some of our characters. We've established, oh, that works. Uh, that's the first time that's happened. Perfect. I now really need ammo. Yeah, I think my first few uh, recordings I have, and I really liked it. Um, I like all the Arkham games. I was going to start streaming them. But then I got a copyright warning for Batman Arkham Origins, and I said, well, that's the end of that. And I think when I tried to stream Arkham uh, Asylum, uh, for some reason it just wouldn't capture the game. It just wouldn't do it. Um, so I, I, I had to stop. I absolutely loved Arkham Knight. Um, I thought it was great. And it just one of, it's one of those games that's very rare that just sucked me right in, and I just couldn't help but get get sucked into it. All 
I'm not even able to fight off... I, I don't have enough ammunition to really fight off anybody right now. I burned it all on that guy. Don't have enough money. Don't have enough Adam. And you know what? Oh, oh crap, that hurt. <laughs> What's funny is uh, the, the, where I left off, when I, before I came here, I looked, I've looked. i looked at this and walked by it over probably two dozen times, and I never got this joke until just now. Uh, maybe. Um, I, I always saw the Joker as a uncontrolled version of Batman. Uh, they, they are, the reason why they don't like each other is, or sorry, the reason why they are, oh crap, I gotta stop moving now. So I'm just, I'm just gonna sit here for a second. So these guys are gonna try to kill me. Don't get me wrong, I like this song though. <laughs> he just died. Okay, there we go. No, I don't think so. Um, I think that it's just a dark universe, uh, which is what th Batman's always supposed to be. 20 bucks. Yummy. I liked Batman. Batman was always my favorite character, even as a kid. I remember um, trying to collect all the different Batmans that came out. Uh, I need to get the Batman Blu-ray uh, box set from like well, ba the Batman animated series series Blu-ray box set. I need that. I need it. You know, need. Like I will not survive without it. Need it. <laughs> I'm kidding, but uh, yeah, no, it's something I really want. That and uh, what was the other thing? I yeah, it's on my Amazon wish list. Stuff from when I was a kid. I like dark universes, so Batman was right up my alley. Superman, not so much. Batman, absolutely. I think the only ones that were quote unquote inside Batman's head were the uh, the. Um, Gotcha. I need 
I need to get one of those, one of these guys in front of a camera, and then I need to get. That's not it. I need to get. Oh no! We're not gonna do that. What? Oh crap! Why you say that? Sometimes. I haven't played in a long time. Nobody ever wants to play. So, yeah, I do play chess. But I'm not quite sure why Batman not being in his own world is... is uh, proof that it's not free will or whatever. I mean, it's possible, but I, I think the game is set to be not that way. It's set to be where it it's in the Batman universe, not in his head. There are certain parts that do. Like the whenever he's fighting the Mad Hatter and um, uh, the Scarecrow. I need to get my plasmids redone. I need to I need to start taking out these big daddies, but I cannot fight them with this. Oh <laughs> sorry, yeah. I thought I was thinking of more just like other conversations you're going through. God I'm dumb. <laughs> Uh, shh, don't tell anybody. This is why sometimes I'm like, I'm not the smartest guy in the room all the time. I, cause I'll talk and I'll ramble, and then all of a sudden, uh, yeah, I can play I can play chess. Yeah, absolutely. Probably not very well, but I can play chess. Uh, da, 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 da. I need a thing. Uh, yeah, telekinesis is fine. <clears throat> well, you know, there's also a lag time, so I'll move on to the next thing, and then I'll get a question. That doesn't help. <laughs> get him. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. So this is another fun thing. This is a great way to just cheese your way to getting what you want in this game. And that's why this is such a useful little plasmid, because you can just get these guys to come do all your dirty work for you. And on harder modes like survival, which is what I'm playing on right now, that's almost a necessity. These guys are a pain in the butt to kill anyway, so he's almost dead. I can probably finish him off. <coughs> yeah, pretty much, yeah. I'm super badass. There we go. That's it? Okay. Now, I'm going to be a good guy, because every time I play, I always feel bad about killing the little sisters to get stuff, so we're, I'm going to be a good guy. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, so one of the things about these guys is that these were, um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, their, their character, not the way they look, but their character was very much kind of like a lobotomized zombie or like a Frankenstein's monster kind of thing. Uh, but they, they, they have very little to almost no free will. Um, we know that because the game has either already told us or it will tell us. Um, I will ruin that for you if you haven't gotten that yet, but... Uh, but we'll, the reason why they go into that level of depth, we'll, we'll look at it a little bit later. But uh, they they really tried to bring in lots of story with this, and I loved it. Yeah, I should have taken the 69 bucks because one meme and two uh, funny. But uh, I, I didn't because, well, I got greedy. 
And we all know what happens when you get greedy. Now, funny story. Um, there was a line here earlier that I started to talk about, but then we had a fight. Uh, the Iceman cometh. I don't, I don't know when exactly that started, but I do know the only Iceman I'm aware of was a a mafia uh, hitman who was called the Iceman by the mafia. The reason being is because he would kill anybody, and it would just be just blank face. The man had a family. He, I think he had two kids, and it was so... It, the man was so scary that the people that, that were hiring him to kill people were terrified of him. Uh, and I think he used an ice pick as well, at least in some of his murders. But uh, the way that he would just so mercilessly murder somebody, and just without any remorse, it bothered people. Uh, so when the ice man cometh comes around, like, I think that phrase comes from him. At least if I remember correctly. I mean, there may be another context for it, but um, and I, re I wish I could remember his name. I think he's still alive, actually, because he was active in the 80s, and he was arrested afterwards. But uh, I think one of the first stories that people testified in was like when the mob, uh, or one of the mob bosses, or one of the hitmen that he worked with, talked about how at one point he just, you know, somebody asked him if he had the guts to do something, so he just got out of the car that they were driving in, and he just walked right up to some homeless guy, gave him 12, 20 bucks, you know, got him some food, and then just butchered the crap out of him right there in a back alley in New York or something. I was like, jeez, man. That's a pretty hardcore thing to do. Where is... I know there's a, a gimmick to this, but I don't remember what it was. Yeah, so, uh, but, well, here's the, the reason why I bring that up is this, is that if that's where that phrase comes from, because he was the boogeyman for a while, because people knew who, like, what he was, or I guess you could say, but they didn't know where he was or why he was doing what he was doing. Um, I was just, nothing to buy, crap. Um, this is, this is in 1959, way before the Iceman ever would have, you know, been active. So if for if he actually is referring to the Iceman that I'm thinking of, uh, then timeline wise it's not right. I went through all that just to explain how it's possible that uh, the game made a mistake and you know, I caught it because I'm smart man. Because that's that's the kind of analysis and, and the level of detail you should come to expect from me. I will I will call out everything that I can when I can if I can. Like Halo Reach. If you want to see me piss and moan all over how Halo Reach doesn't make any sense, even though I love it, those are on YouTube too. <laughs> they might be still on my tw uh, Twitch as well, but. Uh, Halo Reach's story doesn't make any freaking sense. Mostly because the premise is way off. I only own one Telltale game, and that would be the Walking, like the first Walking Dead one. Um, I see. I didn't really even think about the decisions that I made in that game. I probably could go back and redo it, but. Uh, I didn't think anything of it, but a lot of stories that drive me crazy, and I just have to stop thinking about them, are ones where the characters are stupid, and that's what makes the story move. I hate that. Um, if your whole premise is that your main character has to be borderline retarded, uh, sorry, I can't use that word, really stupid, um, in order for something to work, then you're a bad writer. Um, that doesn't mean your character can't make stupid decisions, but if they keep making consistently stupid decisions, you're a bad writer. Oh, of course, unless your character is stupid, but nobody wants to see a stupid character make stupid decisions. 
Well, I don't, so maybe somebody else does. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big fan of it either. That's a bomb. Gonna move right here. And now I'm gonna just sit tight for a second and just grab a drink. Sorry. Sets people on fire and then runs them at me because that makes sense. Yeah, they did, but uh, I mean, I try to avoid saying words like that so I don't get banned. You know, I I I I'm willing to fight the culture war in certain cases, but crap, you're gonna walk right to me, aren't you? Ah. never heard of him. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> Die! Now, I think my biggest complaint about society today is um, it's just, uh, storytelling has gotten really bad. And, and I didn't I wasn't really made aware of it until somebody pointed it out to me. Um, I, I can I can even somewhat live with the, 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 the really sensitive nature of people because I think stories and things like that will desensitize people to certain things. But um or at least uh, make them more sensitive to other opinions. But, like, storytelling that has gotten so one-sided, blatant, and, and, and boring is unforgivable. And, like, writing, like, it's one of the reasons why I revisit old games. Because the writing is so much better. It's just so much better. Where are you? I thought you were in here. No, you're not. Okay. Whoa, that audio is all jacked up. Yep. Got him. I'm out of ammo. Darn it. Don't have any ammo. I can't take his photo. No ammo, ammo. Darn it. What the? No, 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 no. I didn't want to fight you. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't go. Stop, 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 stop. Well, did, what did I do? I don't remember fighting you or trying to fight you. What the hell? Move, move. Ah, oh, Al. He is going to beat me into the ground. Move, 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 move. Move, move, move. Ow! <sighs> well, it's 
it's all right. It's not like it's the first time I've died playing this this playthrough, but I, I didn't want to die again. Maybe. I mean, I personally, I think capitalism has done a lot of good things for people, but I think what we have a problem with is corporatism, not capitalism. The merger of the government and this and the 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 biggest corporation has probably been the biggest driver of inequality and in, in well, what again, dude? <laughs> Jeez, I'm gonna die again. I'm gonna die again. I'm gonna die again. Oh god, no! <laughs> what the hell? Why does that guy have such a hard on for me? Yeah, I actually had this a very long discussion with one of my uh, my neighbors today about uh, about this very topic. I get why people don't like uh, or are or, or hating on capitalism, which I, I get it. It's in, in some cases, it's not perfect, but uh, I I prefer to live under capitalism, actual capitalism, than the alternative. Heck, even the guy that used to live under the USSR next to me, he's like, there's lots of things I criticize America for, but I definitely don't want to go back to the USSR. <laughs> it's like, I don't want communism or socialism. Keep that crap as far away from me as possible. And again, I can I can respect that. Did I grab that picture? I don't think I grabbed the picture. Gosh darn it. I need help. What? What's going on? Alright, let's see if I can finally go over there and not get killed. Please don't try to kill me again. So why are you... Oh, you must have hit one of my mines is what you did. That's what you did. You pain in the butt is what you are. Or did I make you angry? <laughs> did I say something wrong? Is that what happened? So I've got all four of them, but I don't have any ammunition. But I do agree. I think there's. I think. I think a lot of people have been essentially, like you said, programmed to uh, to, to react to things rather than actually respond to them. And uh, I know some friends and coworkers that I've had for years that have done exactly that. They don't actually talking to them is not talking to somebody. You're talking to uh, essentially a pre-recorded message. I've been grateful to uh, be able to talk some of my f closer friends out of those positions. Not all of them, but some of them. Uh, I'm not going to tell that, unfortunately. I'll tell you that I am from only the best state. <laughs> oh, hello. 
Friends. More friends. Oh, come back, you little bit of... Gotcha. Let's see. Let's go hunting for more things. And then we'll go finish this place and move on to the next one. More friends, okay. Gotcha. There's lots of Houdinis right here. <laughs> well, you know, it's not even that. It's 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 uh it's just hello, more. Oh, that's right. I need to I need to save more uh ah, more little sisters. But he's almost. Let's see, see, he's almost dead. He's getting there. Hello. Oh, that's right. Oh, uh, bu 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 uh, how do I open that again? How do I open that again? Well, you'll have to get in line, though, for, for kidnapping me. In all honesty, I'm sure that enough people from my past, if they knew where I was, would probably try to do the same. I have this tendency to attract the very strange people. For some reason, for some reason, all the really weird artists and the strange rejects are attracted to me, which I'm fine with. They're probably better to talk to than most people. <laughs> At least they're interesting. I need to find money and or health packs. But if it's any consolation, eventually I will probably forget that I don't want to say that while I'm playing something and just blared it out or, you know, say something that gives it away. So if you actually really want to kidnap me bad enough, you just have to hang around and I'll probably screw up and, and say it. The other night, I actually, uh, I deleted the stream because I, I gave out personal information. It wasn't like really personal, but it was personal enough that I didn't want it to be out there and I just deleted the stream. <laughs> I was three hours in. <laughs> Ooh, so close. Um, I'm. You only have 50 more to go. <laughs> or sorry, 49 more to go, I should say. I am not from Chicago. I do know people from Ch from Chicago, though. I could kill him right now. I could. I need to upgrade my stuff here a little bit. Am I that far? So maybe I'm three quarters of the way through the game. So I'm actually a lot farther than I thought. Okay, let's see. Uh, I don't... I would, I would mind getting those, but I have that in spades. So I'm good. Get physical training in there. Get another of that. Get a combat slot. And I definitely want to get one of those. Oops. Uh oh. 
and ra and rage is fun. But I didn't want to use it this time. I still have more work to be done. So now I have let's go back to my the there is one of my favorite builds in this game, and we're gonna kinda touch base with it real quick. So it is where I have sports boost one and two that increases my movement and uh, swing speed. And then Bloodlust is somewhere in there, too, but I haven't gotten it yet. Then we have Wrench Jockey 1 and 2. Plus, I'll have to... I think... Where is it? I need to add it... Where is it? Is it French, uh, Frozen Field? Yeah, here it is. Which adds cold damage to my, my wrench. And now, essentially, I just have to beef up my health to its final, to its final form. And uh, I'll be pretty much unstoppable with a wrench. Uh, actually, uh, are you familiar with Ayn Rand? Mr. Epic. Where is it going? Oh, there it is. Ayn Rand. Uh, she's an author. Back from... Ooh, when was she alive? Long time ago. Like 1920s, I think. So, um, the idea of Rapture and um, the philosophy of Andrew Ryan and everybody there is borrowed heavily from Ayn Rand's philosophy of objectivism. I would recommend reading some of her work. Some of it's um, a bit too much even for me. Uh, I, I think she has really good points on certain topics, but one of her shticks is that capitalism has no real moral safeguards, and I don't think that's true. Um, you know, it, people have moral safeguards, therefore the people that engaged in capitalism have moral safeguards. Uh. But if you're in for a um, a good like philosophy read. then um, that might give you some idea of what, uh, like, I guess some of the, the background lore of Bioshock is supposed to be. And, like, this is an objectivist's reality, or an objectivist's uh, uh, paradise, is essentially is what it is. Crap, I'm not going to be able to beat him that way. Uh, and I'm going to need something more. I don't want to shatter him yet. Gotcha. So, um, like, the characters in the in the, the game, like Atlas, is a reference to, um, well, a character in one of her books. It's a character. So one of her books is called Atlas Shrugged. I actually haven't read it yet, which is the most common one people refer to. Okay, I still need... I need... Oh, I've got another little sister to save. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, if you if you want to read new stuff, if you want to maybe venture into stuff that you've never really read before, um, I, f I even forget what I've read by Ayn Rand. I know I've read a f like one book, but I know that her idea of of objectivism, which is pure unfiltered capitalism, is is the best form of it. But I I disagree with what she's talking about. <laughs> so, uh, uh, what if one of her philosophies is, I say one of, her main philosophy is what we call objectivism. Um, it's pure, unfettered capitalism. 
without any moral uh, hindrances. And this is what this rapture is the brainchild of essentially what that is. I thought I could get down there. Oh, snap. I've never done that before. Um, let's just kill her real quick. There we go. I'm looking for one last big daddy with a little sister next to him. Yeah, there we go. Just compound that wrench damage. Bring it. Oh, this is my ringtone, actually. What the hell? What? Why are you attacking me? Why are you attacking me? I didn't want to fight you. Jeez! No! 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 I did not want to fight Sander Cohen. Why are you attacking me? Yeah, not 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 the kind of action that you're wanting to look for, bro. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that out there right now. I mean, if you're looking for that kind of action, then you're definitely in the wrong place. <laughs> now, unfortunately, I am now pissed off Sander Cohen, which I did not want to do because that means that I cannot. That means that I cannot get all of the power to the people upgrades. So I'm I'm now I don't even know what it is that I did. I I left him alone. <sighs> That's very frustrating actually. You know what? I might you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just reload that. And hope to god that he hasn't gotten pissed off and then I'm going to go into the bathosphere and move on to my next location then move back. Um I really don't want to not have all my power to the people upgrades. I'll just leave. And hopefully he has not gotten pissed off at me. Doesn't look like it. So let's now let's get the hell out of here while I still can. I'm going to just leave and then I'm going to come right back to get that last little sister. It's just that he's in the way. And if I piss him off, I can't grab all the stuff that I need. Let's just go to like medical pavilion or something. And we'll come back. Anyway, my point was that... Um, you can't have a, a completely moral free society because society requires morals. Like, it's just not possible. Um, so, it, it, one of the biggest problems that I had with Ayn Rand's, I guess, philosophy, and the reason I disagree with it is that she discusses things like, you know, if you wanted to sell your body for money, that's fine. And I'm like, okay, that's, that's not an issue. Or if you wanted to sell your organs to the point of death, you can do it. Um, I, I don't agree with that. I think that morally that should be not allowed. Um, do, 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 do. Gotta crawl around here. Uh, because, again, there, you, you know, people have to have a moral code. Whether they you know, ascribe to one or make up their own, people require morals. Um, and because of that, you will always have uh, you, you cannot have a immoral or amoral system of society. It's just not possible. You're always going to have one, whether you like it or not. So, let's see. 
I hear what her point is, and I don't disagree with it. You know, we don't need a lots of, of, of things that we have in, the, in our current society, but I, I think that to simply say that you you can you can have a system without any morals, I think, is very very foolish. It's just it's it's in on paper is it possible? Yes. In reality, is it possible? I don't think so. Burn. <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. I try to challenge the things that I think um, as much as I possibly can. Although some, like recently, when I say recently, I mean the past maybe since COVID started, I've gotten probably really lazy about it. Um, I have no problem like reading different philosophies, um, even things that I find relatively reprehensible, um, because I like to know what those things are. Um, you know, not not necessarily because I agree with. Like for instance, so um, <laughs> again, I hope nobody takes this out of context, and I hope I never never become big enough to where I'll have to worry about it. But uh, there was a day where I had a copy of Mein Kampf in English. And I was reading it, um, and I remember, I forget who it was, but somebody that actually knew was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm reading this book by a horrible psychopath. And they're like, well, that's better you you, you said it that way. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I don't agree with it. I just want to know what it is that he thought. Like, what is it that drove him to this? Uh, I actually never finished it, but, uh, you know, because of that, I didn't really, I wasn't really interested in what he had to say, but it is interesting to understand what it is people were doing. And if I remember correctly, had anyone actually just read his book, they could have literally told high command in America, what the hell he was going to do. Cause he wrote a lot of it down. And then after that, I was going to read uh, the Communist Manifesto. And then after that, I was going to read, uh, I was going to try to find some writings from Pol Pot or Mao. Uh, ju again, just to see if I can find out what th what was in their heads. Um, but yeah, I think that I was started that before COVID. And then once COVID hit, I kind of just I gave up on it, I think. It's not what I wanted at all, but actually, but whatever, it works. I still gotta grab one more. Where's the big daddy with the last little sister? She can't be far. Yeah, my, my, my nightstand is very, very weird because it has books on it that, like, I've got old mangas. I say old mangas. To me, they're now they're old because they're no longer being printed and they're no longer being uh, produced even though they never finished. I've got, like, two uh, colorized mangas that are all in completion and, and giant omnibuses. And then I've got, uh, do you have a little sister? You're the only big daddy I've seen. Come on, find me a little sister. Go. Uh, and then like a bunch of philosophy books or, or the writings of uh, like Marcus Aurelius, things like that. Um, I, I like to hear 
other people's opinions. Like uh, I think my my uh, th- I mean, despite any any beliefs that I have, I think that there's some things that we can take from other people that are good advice, even if they're not uh, things that we always agree with. For for, for instance. Um, I mean, most people have heard of the phrase memento mori, which means uh, remember death, that all like, you will die one day. So never forget the fact that you will die. Uh, I think that's a really good piece of advice, actually. It's morbid, but it is a good piece of advice. And the reason for it was that, you know, the fact of the matter is that if you're only living for yourself, remember that one day you'll no longer matter. You know, even if you don't, even if religiously you you don't, you know, like that, like, or, or maybe, you know, you don't, you're an atheist. You're like, well, it doesn't matter. Well, yeah, but that doesn't make that, that point any less true. I mean, if, if you're, you know, philosophically, if you don't want to read new stuff, I, I get it. There's some things where there's ideas where you're, maybe you're not confident enough in them or, 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 you know, you've got enough things going on in your mind and on, and on your plate. And it's just adding that just does not make it better. Um, read something fun. Um, so a book that I read a lot when I was in middle school, and I'm sure you've heard of it, is called The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, I will say that it, if you are... Uh, was sensitive to nihilism. Uh, maybe it's not a good book for you, but uh, it is a book about a man who essentially uh, just loses everything in his life, and it's a comedy. It's a lot of fun. Um, it, it's it's just his little romps and adventures through space with, uh, I guess, his former girlfriend and uh, her new boyfriend. It's, it's really, really weird. But it's a lot of fun. Um, like, uh, one of the things that happens is that he is going to get his home demolished, and he keeps getting these bureaucratic answers when he tries to, 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 to stall it. I'm trying to get you where I can actually fight you fairly, you little bugger. Oh, fairly. I mean, unfairly. So I'm not going to win right now. And uh, so what ends up happening is that his the demolishing of his house is going to happen in tandem with the demolishing of the earth. And uh, all the, uh, the, or the people that he gets picked up by. <laughs> well, The Hitchhiker's Guide is a funny book. Um, it's a really funny book. There's lots of silliness in it. And I think that the writer... Uh, Douglas Adams, uh, unfortunately, he was very, very nihilistic, but he definitely, uh, 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 well, he wrote it when he was drunk. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, it's, 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 it's up to you if you take the advice. I'm just saying, if you're having a hard time and you need to kind of walk away and escape for a little bit and you want to read something to kind of just, you know, have fun. Are you really going right back to the frickin' hole in the wall, you stupid little bugger? That's not fair. That is not fair. You can't do that to me. I don't have the ammo or the money to buy more ammo, you little annoying bugger. And there's nothing I can use over here to kill you. Let's let's just see how this goes. What books do you got? That's this is not gonna go well. Nope, not at all. Crap, 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 crap. Ow. Gotcha. They're gonna charge me. Nope, not gonna charge me. Oh, darn it. 
Oh, I got him this far, so that's this progress. I need to get him in front of that. Oh, look, another big daddy. Wait, is that the same big daddy? That can't be the same big daddy. Yeah, there's the, there's that big daddy. Go. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, no, come on, where are you? Come on. I'm actually not just leading him everywhere. I'm trying to get him in front of a camera or something. Of course, somebody just used up my camera. I've got one more electric buckshot round, which is not going to be useful. I've heard of Rich Dad, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I've only seen some of those. I've never read any of them, though. Yeah, she's got purple hair. Is a spider splicer there? Okay, there we go. I've never heard of any of those except for uh, Eat, is it Eat, Pray, Love. Yeah, I've heard of that one. I've heard of. I've never heard of anything by. I, I actually really don't respect Stephen Hawking much for almost anything. I think his philosophy is all jacked up. I think that his ideas on life are a little bit weird too. At least the ones that I've heard, which have not been many. I know he's a smart guy, and I know that would be a fact, but. Uh, you know, even Richard Dawkins, who's a smart guy, is, well, mostly intolerable. I'll take that. Oh, I should have grabbed Incinerate, too. Now they're all safe. So now I'll move on to, to Hephaestus. We're in the end game now, boys. I did a terrible job this time grabbing all the uh, grabbing all the uh, the audio diaries. You shouldn't have chosen Richard. Uh, Richard, uh, sorry, Stephen Hawking. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, his stuff is a bit out there. But maybe I'm. I'm I'm misremembering. I, I often find that scientists like them, uh, if you're looking for answers on life, they don't really have many. At least none that, like, I guess, satisfy me personally. But that's that's just me. Um, Wow, there's really no way through this, because, yep, that's it.
I mean, that all depends on what you're looking for. Uh, most of the stuff that I like is probably going to be not up to everybody's speed, or at least not to, to everybody else's liking. So, um, what was I, I have it next to my bed, but what is it called? Um. I always forget what the name. I keep wanting to say call it ruminations, but it's not it. But uh, if you're looking for just basic life philosophy, uh, I, I like Marcus Aurelius. Um, it's not a perfect book, but his book called Meditations is pretty good. Um, oh, one second, because if you're looking for just something fun to read, I, I like Warhammer. <laughs> if you're looking for something serious to read, it depends on what it is that you're trying to be serious about. Um, for for science, um, I mean, I really don't know if I have that many science books, but I have read a few. Uh, I, but I, I find that most scientists don't have answers that people usually expect them to have. Like, if you're looking for a scientist to have answers as to why things are the way they are, um, like, I mean, like, why this something is structured something or some way, it doesn't really work for that. Oh man, uh, that's the deeper conversation, man. Like, uh, if you're looking for the truth about life, the universe, and everything, man, like, I mean, that's that's, that's a bit deep for Twitch. I could I could probably like link you on Twitter or whatnot, things that may be a good idea. But uh, I think that if you're looking for truth from scientists, you're you're gonna be. Well, one second. Ah, uh, Andrew, it's the it's the evil Disney, or evil Walt Disney. That's what he is. I would say the truth is is in this context is limited. Um, so, in my personal opinion, this this is something that helped me out a little bit, and I don't know if it's going to help everybody else out. And I'm sure somebody's going to disagree with me vehemently. It's 2021. Oh, one second. Well, I mean, again, I, I, I can't really answer everything like that, man. Like, that that's, uh, like, what, sh what should you do? That's a question you have to ask yourself and really think on it. Um, like, and then once you find something that you want to do, like, should you do it? You know, is it, is it good for other people? Is it good for you? Um, one thing I will say that, that kind of helped me out is, is uh, when I was in my, I want to say my late teens, early 20s, I, I, I had the same problem, and it wasn't an easy conversation to have with myself either. Um, I, I you know, spent the majority of my, my teenage years doing absolutely nothing productive. I spent um, a lot of my time, you know, doing really stupid stuff, you know, living for me and me alone. Um, pretty much I was a useless person for a long time, and I would, I would even... I dare say there are times now where I still feel like a useless person that's just kind of drifting in the wind. I don't really have that many plans for that many things. Um, so instead of, of looking for an uh, overarching goal, I just say, well, what can I do f today? Um, and it's not always an easy answer. It's not always a simple answer either. So... You know, you, you have to choose what you're going to live for. I mean, if that's really what you're going to get into. One second. Um, I mean... It, it, because no matter what you do, I think you're, uh, this conversation is always going to lean more towards. Oh, hello. 
Let's get some pictures of you, buddy. I need to max out my camera. Um, and and there's nothing wrong with not having a direction. Let's just start there. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. Is it is it good? No. But is it is it inherently bad or wrong? Let's start there. And you know that, that's no. That's not that's not the case. Um, but I will say this: uh, living living for yourself is never gonna make you happy. I'm gonna throw that at you right now. Um, I've done it. I've tried it. Um, it. It doesn't mean that there's nothing to be gained from it, but if you're always living for yourself, you're never going to be happy or satisfied with anything you do. And it's going to seem really counterintuitive if you actually take that to heart. Uh, it did for me. Um, it doesn't mean I don't do anything for me at all. It just means that like, the less you think of your own life, One second. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, I would just say that, that that's probably the... Oh, oh, this is a good part. I love this part. Um, as I was saying, um, okay, I'm just going to quit that. Gosh darn it. Uh, oh gosh darn it. Sorry to hear that, bud. Life isn't always easy to all of us. It's definitely not easy to most of us. But the best thing you can do is just kind of, you know, again, take every day at a time, man. That's all I can really say. Take every day at a time. It's not. No, no, it's not. I mean, you're preaching to the choir there. What the? What the hell? Oh, there's somebody behind me too. Good lord. Ah. You're right. It's not easy, man. As I said, the best thing to do whenever you're feeling stressed out, at least for me, this is this is this is advice that I would give myself, and that I did give myself. I looked myself in the mirror and said, "Okay, well, you're feeling, you know, you're feeling overwhelmed." Just take a deep breath and just let's just start with the first thing that's bothering you. 
and just kind of work your way through, just baby step your way through it, man. Like, and be really honest with what you're doing, where you want to be, and why you're doing what you're doing. And, like, I mean, literally just ask yourself this. Oh, man. I'm probably going to go to sleep before I finish the game. I'm not going to make it to the end tonight. Um, I probably should go to sleep right now, but I'm, I'm not tired yet. I need to find more stuff. Uh, oop, hello. Aw. Uh, but I recommend just kind of being honest about what you're doing um, and why you're doing it. And that's that's the first thing is that, you know, you're looking for truth. Be honest with yourself. And I, I, I hate that mentality of like, well, you got to be true to yourself. No, no, no. Be honest with yourself uh, about what you're doing, uh, about why you do what you do. And I think that's that's the first thing that most people need to need to do in general is just be honest with where you are, what you're doing, and why. And if you're stressed out, uh, I would even just sit down and say, hey, like, why is this stressing me out? What is it that's bothering me? You know, it, it could be something, you know, really, really big. And if you're not ready to deal with that, then start with something smaller that you know you can deal with. Uh, the main thing is just don't let yourself get, get I guess, trapped in the big stuff man yeah not that I'm a therapist or I'm a doctor or any of that just uh, you know if, if stuff stressing you out and you're anxious and you don't really know where to go I mean the best th especially if you have no one to talk to the best thing to do is just to look yourself in the mirror, and at least again, this is best for, I guess, me, is just to be, to look yourself in the eye and be honest with yourself about what it is that's bothering you and why it's bothering you. Uh, that doesn't mean you're going to be able to fix it in one day, but sincerely trying to, to solve the problem by being honest with yourself, you can't go wrong there. You, you just can't. Um, and maybe maybe uh, you by yourself, you're not able to get to that answer. Well, then talk to people about it um, or friends about it. I mean, hell, finding good friends is already a difficult task enough, though. I mean, I, I, I have a hard time um, giving people advice because you know everybody's a little bit different. I can't. I can't. Everybody processes information a little bit differently. Not everybody uh, uh, thinks the way that I do. And not everybody can be... Oh, what the hell? Oh, god dang it. Um, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Uh, but... Uh, okay, stuff that's that's just in general a good idea is just being honest with yourself and, and a lot of people have a hard time with that they don't want to do that because if they are be honest with themselves they may not like the person that they are um and it, you gotta be willing to accept that like that's one of the hardest things you gotta do is accept that maybe who you are right now is not the person that you want to be and that would require you to change um well, no one ever does, because imagine if you had people that actually had to stop and think about this. I mean, it's not a, a great thing to think about. It's rather scary. But, but at the same time, like, you know, you need to find people that you trust to talk to this about, um, or anything really about. Uh, personally, I mean, it doesn't bother me one way or the other to talk about it. I, 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 I think these are questions that need to be asked, and nobody bothers to ask them. And, you know, I, I can see it in my coworkers, and, and whenever it comes up in conversation, even getting near it, you see everybody back the hell away from it. They don't want to think about it. And, again, I, I understand why. <laughs> 
it's just this, this pretty pretty intense topic. So you you know unless you've got a couple hours and you've got some time to kill, it's you're not gonna necessarily find the answer. You probably won't even if you do have the time. But being I would say the, as I said, the first the first thing that's most important is being able to sit down, look yourself in the eye, and, and being honest with yourself about what it is that you're doing. Um, I, I can't stress that advice more than more than I already have because it's oh and you know like everything else just start small um, don't don't dive into this like you know if, you, if you're starting off with hey what's the meaning of life you might be you might be starting off in the wrong place uh, not that it's not a good question but maybe you're not there yet Hey man, that that that's oh son of a biscuit! No! Oh god, no, why? God darn it! Hey man, doing nothing is just a a waiting period for doing something. I mean, for me personally, one of the things that I'm doing to kind of just uh, let's say not really kill time, but just to kind of be more disciplined is I'm getting chickens and then uh, after I get chickens I'm gonna start learning to do some woodworking and then after that I'm probably gonna expand my my uh, my knowledge base to something else just to kind of keep myself a little bit busy uh, I learn I gain I, I gain some more discipline um, I teach myself something and while, it, while I'm doing it I'm actually making things for me that that I actually want so it's, it's kind of a win-win and I get to work with my hands which I prefer to do uh, I don't really get to do that in my field that much. Most of my stuff is very abstract, or, or, or um, uh, you know, usually they're not. They're not. Uh, you know, I kind of want to want to finish you off, you little bugger. Not really, but I, I'm on every night, so no worries. Ooh, power to the people. So I, I try to be on every night around maybe, well, uh, let's see. I'm on Central Time, so about 8.30, 9-ish. And I usually stream for about an hour, maybe two. Uh, weekends I try to do longer. Let's do that. So I need more bolts that don't break. Yeah, that's a long time. <laughs> that's a very long time out of me. Just go down. Go down. Just go down. Just die. Go down. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's it's Okay, let's try this again. I'm just gonna have to to bash my head against the wall until he dies, just so I can get some more Adam. I've already destroyed my. Uh... I've already got my brass balls achievement, so I guess I don't really need to worry about this too much. Yeah, I'm usually on around uh, about eight. This stream to about ten thirty or so. Tonight I'm going a little bit longer. No, 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 dude. I, if I could, I'd swim a wrench more, man. I just, uh, I'm just don't have the beefiness yet to really do it. I need uh, a little bit more uh, armor and whatnot. My issue right now is that I don't have any ammo, like really useful ammo. I've got a few things here and there, but I don't really have much that I can play with. That's my issue. So I've got six rounds of shotgun, I've got this thing, i got that, I've got no traps, and I don't have much money. And all the, uh, that's, yeah, that's a, a false vending machine. You're wounded. You should go to a health station. Thank you. I'd like to find one. 
But yeah, no, th- I loved this game when I was a kid, and so I can play this game pretty much all day without any problem. Don't, don't want to go there. It's one of the few games that I can just sit down and play nonstop and just keep playing it, and people would look at me like I'm insane, and I'll go, hey, don't blame me for having taste. I thought there was a... 2003? 2007? It's been a long time. It's been a very long time. No. Actually, maybe it was even before that. Maybe I'm get. Maybe I'm being even too. No, it had to be early two thousands at the earliest. I need oh, health pack. Two health packs. Sweet. I love it. Yeah. Well, this is the remastered version. Um, so this is not the original. I have the original on my PC, and it actually looks... Well, no, this one does look pretty good in comparison. So they cleaned a lot of stuff up about it, but uh, some of the, the, the original issues are still there. I think one of the other guys pointed it out, where he's like, it's it's clunky. It's just too clunky, and, and he's right. The game is definitely clunky. Uh, like, the, the controls are clunky. It might be. Uh, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm undershooting. Let's get some. Oh, so they, there you go. See, <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. As I said, it was, you're not wrong. It's, it's clunky, but uh, it's definitely worth the, worth play. I would recommend playing it if you haven't done so, or if you haven't finished it. I think the remastered version they they cleaned a lot of stuff up. The visuals are, I think, I think the visuals still look good no matter what. I mean, it's just, I think this engine looks really good. No matter what you do with it, because it just oh, it looks just good. I don't know what it is that they did, but they just make it look good. I remember this was one of the person talking, so I'm not used to two or three people talking in chat over the course of my stream. So forgive me that I forgot. <laughs> uh, Generals does not have a remaster, and I don't believe they are ever going to make one because that is politically incorrect now to have America bombing. Uh, well whoever, wherever, whenever. Even if the game is super awesome and amazing and fun, they will they will never remaster that game. Heck, I think they, I don't even think they wanted to do a um they, they actually started making Generals 2 and then they abandoned it um which I I very unhappy about. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, oh, sorry, the USA does this on a day-to-day -day basis anyway. So what's the point? But don't get me started on that. This this my my streaming channel is usually meant for just for playing video games and having fun. Uh, that's usually what I what I what I stream to do. I just want to have fun. Australia Day. Is it a thing? I don't even know if that's a thing. That might be. Uh, I don't know. Look, bodies. Sweet. Probably gonna wrap it up really soon. I gotta. I have to get to work in the morning, and I have to actually be in the office. Ugh. So what I'll do is I'll just reload. See if I can get to a good stopping point right up here. Yeah. Well. 
sadly, my position, unfortunately, is not uh, one that can be... Well, I can do it from home. It's just that my contract says I have to be in the office, so... Probably get up here, do one of the little mini games, and then I'll probably have to. Go. Oh, this one. This is fun. Okay. The guy had his freaking face. Oh no, this is a mask. I thought it was actually his face torn off. So the original game, um, I actually couldn't tell this was a mask. I literally thought they had torn the guy's eyes out. So, that's cool. Oh, no, 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 We don't get that. If I get sick, uh, it's on me. But honestly, I'm okay with it. It's not that big of a deal. I don't get sick that often. Not that it's anybody else on my team, for that matter. Boom! What's ironic is I work for a hospital. <laughs> well, I work for a bunch of hospitals, actually. Ah, crap. Ah! Ow, oh, darn it! Ow. Let's try this again. And there's literally no way forward. I have to go up every single time. That's really obnoxious. Do not give me any time either. Jeez. Ugh. All right. Only cost me half my freaking health health kits. I 
I'm about to go to bed right after this, so yeah, have fun, man. I think it's a good time to stop anyway, so I hope everybody enjoyed watching. If you haven't, please give me a follow. I'll be on uh, tomorrow, or I guess for some of you, maybe today. Uh, I will be on later today, and if you had fun, give me a follow. Have a good day, sire.